How you doing? Welcome back to our Pokemon Crystal series. In the last episode, we made it to Azalea Town through the Union Cave. We also caught a Steelix and a Sanju. Um, I have done some grinding before this episode uh, to get a multi level 17 because um, the Ace will be uh, of the Gym will be level 19. But I think, but, but first we have to do Slope It Well, which is where we'll head to. Because you have to talk to Kurt before you can go. Um. Um. And do the gym. <laughs> oh, I'm a bike man. But obviously, there are mandatory fights. You got to fight Team Rocket. Shouldn't be that difficult, really. We are with a little bit higher level. No Raticate and a Porygon 2. We'll switch to King for double kick because Porygon 2 is normal type, right? Pretty same Porygon 2 is normal type. No double kick. Yeah. Conversion 2. Wuton type. So. Is not having it continue to be a flying type. Hopefully, you can slowly find a moonstone to make an evolve it into a needle a needle king. So that's Stantler. Uh, I want to say that's normal. I think it's just normal type. Obviously, Aerodactyl's that tells really strong. Probably not our best defensive one. That's probably will go down to. Um, I was gonna have to go down to Steelix because Steelix is physically defensive. But Aerodactyl's that probably our most powerful. Oh, that's kind of like. And there's one more, I think. There's this guy and the other guy that stood next to the slope. I think they're the final two um, fights of slope. Well, turns out a gold book. I used to get three problems where we have the wheel a lot lower. And obviously we've been lower, we can easily take them out. T-Tar, we don't really have anything for T-Tar. Probably gonna try and put it to sleep and then use Absorb. Don't really have anything for. We do land the slip out of that's good. Ground. Ground Dark? Zob should be super effective. If we can get if we can keep it asleep. Logically, I think we're faster, but you never know. It's still asleep. Yeah, yeah, we win. We we can knock out the T tar. Obviously, probably an able to if I had the stadium with uh, Aaron that tile, but gets XP on the squiggle. No water turtle. Perfect. I'm I'm li I'm literally a grass type right now. Soon if you just tackle, it'll probably do about what two, and then absorb will probably be able to heal the rest of our health back up. Let's go to the other team. That's a mandatory fight. <laughs> oh, your interruption at work. What do you want? No mercy. You got one Pokemon. He's got a Mantine. A little 17. Okay. 
maintain water, so we may as well just switch into squiggle. Because water moves aren't very effective. And then we can just reply with a bubble. And not a bubble. <laughs> and absorb. Well, that did. That did. That did nothing. Yeah, we're gonna try and land the poison powder. There we go. Okay, means we can just we can just like chip it down there. It's having the worst luck with um trying to use um confuser. Just tackle. So it seems to be getting hurt every time after it moves. I don't remember that. I don't remember. I always thought it was the end of every time, but obviously not in Gen Z. Maybe that was a change they made. Okay, to Central. Let's get out of here. Oh, love ball. I think we'll go, um... Um, we'll go Gar Encounter. In Super Well. Because we're going to be encounter in, in, in here. So just get our encounter before we take him as in. We probably use a bit of speed up. Ooh. Chameleon. Yes. That gives us that, that that gives us our fire type. You got your mumbo? No. I definitely will not be able to hit this thing. Um, probably smart thing to do is to switch into squiggle. I know grass fire fire is super effective. We can potentially put it to sleep. Like potentially putting uh, champion to sleep, so we can get a uh, Charizard. Like potentially getting a Charizard is just something we need. I think we need to take because <laughs> Charizard. One. And I don't. I just don't think I can hit it at all. It, re it will really suck if we can't catch it. One, two, three. Caught it. Yes. That's good. I'm gonna call it. Um. I'm gonna call it Zard. Inventive, I know. And now we can take on the gym because we've lost Team Rocket out of. Okay, we have to do that. We have to do this right. Uh, now they've lost Team Rocket out of the Slopper Well and out of his early town. Let's see the gym. Uh, Cosola. So I was water type and it might not have a water type at level 12. No, and then tackle just missed. And then Magnemite. Um, we'll switch in Veal. Give Steelix a fight. Because the Sergeant Moose can't hurt us because we're, we're, we're part of ground. And we have Rock for 
Whether that's going to be super or not, I don't know. But it limits it to tackle and. I think it'll screech. Because screech will. Drop the defense sharply, which means tackle probably do a lot of damage. Not as much, but. Then it goes to the Thunder Shark. Can't hurt me because I'm steel. The advantage of being steel ground. That ground type. Ground typing on Steelix just makes Steelix very useful. Go this way around. There's one Pokemon. The Seeking. No, 16. But that definitely will have a water type move, so I'm gonna switch for Squiggle. I'm just nose but I've nose you know, I guess for Horn type. Still gonna go for Absorb, because that is super effective. I guess a Tail Whip. I need to go for Absorb again. Because Peck Peck will be super effective, Peck does all just quite a bit. But we should be fine. I just didn't want to that turn against a uh, water type. Water types and ice types are some of the Aerodactyl physically I don't think we will be able to deal with. And that change moved around so fast. I can't avoid this right now. It's good Pokemon. Swine up. As long as it doesn't use Endure, we should be fine. I think it has it at level 8. Snubble, switch into King. Because Snubble isn't Fairy yet. Because Fairy isn't around, fairy isn't around in Gen 2. So it should be normal type. Yeah, super effective. Need a king. Um, we have poison ground. So there's not steel's silly. Um, probably squiggle. Maybe not. Maybe maybe this switch has been is is a bit silly. Use tag. That's gonna hurt a lot. But we're gonna put it to sleep. We're, we're going to put Needle King to sleep and need Absorb. Because we won't be able to poison it. Because it's part poison. Get a crit, it's good. If it stays asleep and get another crit, we, we do knock it out. Can we get another crit? No. But needing things stay asleep. They'll look, they'll look again, four turn consecutive sleep. It's gonna go start with level 19. Trying to learn Vine Whip. I'd say yes. And I'm gonna get rid of Constrict. Because it's a much stronger grass move. Now we can fight the gym leader. Never Bugsy. Starts off with Spiro. Level 17. We can one hit it. Wing attack. Level 17. We're sending an attack 9. Um. We may as well stay because we don't really have any, we don't have a water type. So we may as well stay in and go for wing attack. The easiest rod to switch us out. We, 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 we physically cannot stay with uh, Beedro. Um, so I'll just switch back. No, not, not, not with a flame wheel. 
I do. I really do reckon uh, for the staying probably. We'd have essentially got like a fury attack off, but it wouldn't probably done much to Arcanine. And sends him Bell Spirit. We may as well stay we've got a super massive move. Because we have a uh, wing attack. So I can end up being the scariest Pokemon, really. Yeah, nice badge. Maybe we can get a Halo badge. Check this badge to two. Pokemon level 30. Let's do the first out of the battle, and it was team 49. Fury Cutter. Don't think we have anything that will be able to learn it, but we're going to go heal at the Pokemon Center. Just avoid the main trainers. And we'll heal. That's the second badge. That'll be of course where we end today's episode, so thank you for watching, remember to like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya!